Hey, how's it going everybody? Brian here. Uh, today I want to show you the fly fishing setup that I use. Uh, I don't use a traditional <clears throat> uh, fly rod like what you would typically see when you come to Colorado. I use what's called a Tenkara rod. It's based after a Japanese style of fishing that they've actually been doing for like 300 years over in the high country in Japan. What they do is they just take a piece of bamboo because it grows, it grows over there on the uh, shores of the high altitude rivers. So they break off a piece of bamboo and just tie a string to the end of it and start fishing. So you don't actually have a reel with the type of Tenkara fly rod that I use. But I want to show it to you and offer it up as a suggestion as a way to possibly start fly fishing. And then also too, if you're going to backpack a lot and you want to fish while you're backpacking, the Tenkara is the way to go because here's the, the entire rod right here. It's this little setup. It weighs 21 ounces and it extends out, it telescopes out to two different sizes. There's one size that's nine foot, six inches. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's just nine feet. <clears throat> and then the other is 11 feet. So what it is, you take off the little cap here. Make sure to always keep track of this because I, I know people that lose that. And then your rod can come out and then it can snap the ends if you're not, not careful. But the way this telescopes out is, it just comes out, <clears throat> keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. And then you just put a little bit of tension on each section there where the telescoping joints meet. You don't want to pull too hard though because if you do you can actually break the joints and then when you're fly fishing if you catch a fish when the line, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the, when the rod flexes that little break, that crack there will, will break off. And so just be careful when you're doing that. But this whole setup, like I said, this whole rod right now it's extended 11 feet and it weighs 21 ounces. So. What I like about Tinkara fly fishing is it's more of a more of a sight fishing. Like you see a fish rise and boom, you hit it, and it really helps with pinpoint casting because you get real good at it. Uh, you've only got a, a fixed line, and there's different sizes you can buy. You can do like a nine foot, eleven foot, thirteen foot, and then I think they have one a little bit larger than that. <clears throat> but I use the thirteen foot fixed line, and so you tie the fixed line just to the end of the the line or the end of the rod here with this little red. Um, string so you, you put you put a knot on there and then there's a type of loop knot that you put over here it's real quick and you tie the tinkara line and the tinkara line there's actually i carry two different kinds i carry the normal tinkara line that uh is just just round and it's real great on calm days i mean you can you cast real real easy with these oh, i got a, got a bug in my shirt oh anyway i got that out Nope, didn't get it out. All right, let's hope they got it. Anyway, um, it's it, this is for calm conditions. It's a, it's just a, a round line. There's no texture to it whatsoever. And if you go fly fishing or tinkara fishing um, on a calm day, this is what you want to use. <clears throat> now, there's also a braided line, and my buddy Adam gave this to me. The braided line, the advantage to this is that it's a little bit heavier. And also, too, it can cut through the wind. And so if you're casting into wind or if it's just swirling wind conditions, but you still want to fish, if you use a braided line for your Tenkara fixed line, then you can actually still get the line out there. You can punch it out there and it, it'll, it'll go. So um, so the, the, like I said, I use a 13-foot uh, fixed line. And the idea is, <clears throat> so you've got 11 feet on this, okay? And I'm roughly 6 feet tall. If I extend my hand all the way up while I'm holding the rod, that gives it like an additional, I would say, you know, foot and a half, two feet. All right. And so uh, six plus two is eight plus 11 is 19 feet. So you've got a 13 foot fixed line. Okay. If you put about five feet of fishing line on the end of that fixed line and then tie a fly to it, the idea is, is that when you catch a fish, you just raise it up like uh, hey everybody, sorry about that. I, I don't know what happened. My, uh, my camera just shut off. So anyway, um, as I was saying, uh, the idea is with the, with the size dimensions and the length is that if you have an 11 foot long rod and let's say with your, stand, with your hand up, you know, it's eight feet tall, roughly, let's say seven and a half. So with that, you've got 18 and a half feet. You've got a 13 foot fixed line that goes on the end of here. Okay, and then you can do about five feet of fly line or of a fishing line on there. They call it tippet. <coughs> fishing line on the end of that, and then you tie your fly to it. 
So the idea is, is that when you raise the rod up after you catch your fish, you raise it all the way up and you're standing up and, and uh, you're just pointing to the sky and the fish will be at your feet. So that's, that, that's the idea with, with how, you, how you bring it in. Uh, you can also, you know, crouch down and kind of hand, uh, hand reel it in. I wouldn't recommend doing that. It's just, I don't know, it's a little bit more cumbersome. I mean, it's easy just to stand up and just raise your pole and point it all the way at the sky. Just point it straight up and then you've got the fish at your feet. So I really like using the Tinkara setup. It's really simple. Um, you know, my whole setup that I have with, with my um, flies and the extra line that I have, this is it right here. It's real simple. I've got my fly box. I carry a braided line for wind. I carry a non-braided line for real nice days. And then I've got my uh, stuff. I can put this on like a dry fly and that way it, it floats on the top of the water. And that's it. And then I've got a little pocket knife. And that's, that's my whole setup. And then I can take this little man satchel, if you will, and put it over the side and I'm good to go. So I've got that, my fly rod, and I'm out and I'm fishing. So I don't even need to take a net with me because with the way that you get the fish in, you're good to go. You don't have to net them. And so I just find that when you have less gear and less time to, you know, it doesn't take as much time to set up and everything, it's just a more enjoyable experience because then you're not wasting all your time, like, fin uh, you know, uh, fiddling with gear and adjusting things and tweaking this and tweaking that. I mean, a tr traditional fly setup's great, and don't get me wrong, uh, you can catch some awesome fish with it. You can get out further in larger bodies of water and stuff like that. But if you're going to be backpacking or if you're going up into the high country, your chances of getting into real large bodies of water probably aren't very good. And you're probably going to be fishing more stream setups and small pockets like beaver ponds and stuff like that. So a Tinkara setup is really great for that because it's simple, it's easy to use, you break it down, set it up in nothing flat, and it only weighs 21 ounces. So uh, if you have any questions about this setup or uh, if you want to go online and check out a real good company that sells these, uh, go to TenkaraUSA.com and Tenkara is spelled T-E-N-K-A-R-A, -A. so TenkaraUSA.com. They're based out of Boulder, Colorado, real good company. They've been around since 2007. They've got solid products and you can get into a total setup for around 200 bucks, <clears throat> maybe like 225. So it's not, a, it's not something that breaks the bank at all. It's not expensive. And once you have the rod, you're good to go. So. Uh, I recommend getting one if you like to backpack and like to spend time in the backcountry and if you just want a simple fly setup or if you just want to learn how to fly a fish because this is a real great way to learn. So uh, if you have any questions just hit me up in the comments below and I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Thanks.